Hi everyone, welcome back to Diamond Paints with Mike. It's that time of the month again where we reflect back on the completions that we've done in the previous month. And this time it's the August completions. Just before we begin, um, this painting unfortunately was supposed to be on the July completions and I totally forgot um, about it. I have taken a look over June uh march may and january and it doesn't appear to be on there so i must have totally forgot to include it but remember that lovely little special dog that we got in a timu there it is now just to so you know this frame does not come with this picture this frame comes from another picture that comes with the range so you get the picture and the um frame with it put it in the frame and that's the great thing about 20 times 20 is you can you know swap these out now for the august completions so the next one we have is ta -da! Yes, it was the pink birds that we did. An absolutely beautiful, beautiful painting to work on. I'm aware that you didn't see this stage here, and that will be shown in the next series. Um, but we finished that off uh, in a live, didn't we? And uh, it's just come out absolutely beautifully. The pink is absolutely gorgeous, and it really mingles in well. I love the way they've put the purple sort of branch separating the colours there. I do cut my borders off. So the washi tape is only put on there as a temporary measure um, while we're drilling it just to keep away. So that was that one. Right, the next one that we've got is let's have a bit of coaster work. So we have been working on birds and this was the first completed coaster hit. Oh, the second, I think. Um, I love the rim that's going around with all this lovely uh, mingulation of colours. I know Lazy Retired Granny likes that as well. Um, I really like the way the silver brings out the colour in the bird. It was really, really beautifully done. Um, I think the glue's not quite dry properly there, um, but I can get under that quite easily and pick that off. It's very similar to like PVA uh, glue there, but absolutely fabulous. That's another one that I sealed. I also sealed this one, and that was a beautiful one to do. Um, again, the colours around the edge really sort of bring out the uh, bird here. And the way they've got the silver background, again, really does sort of um, bring out the colour of the bird. I especially love the hot pink, the really dark green here. I mean, even these go, this gold and the peach, it almost looks like that iPhone colour called rose gold, doesn't it? So uh, absolutely beautiful. Next, we have the wonderful world of tigers. Yes, and I finished it, guys. Yes, it's very, very good. Um, I still try to work on them after we've done the series just to get them done. And I was a little bit hesitant that this wouldn't turn out great because there was so much white and pink going on. And I really wasn't sure. But then they managed to salvage it by bringing in that other colour here with the stripes on. And it's just turned out absolutely beautifully, isn't it? I mean, you can't not, like, stop looking at it. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's really turned out lovely. Um, the only thing I don't like on this is the fact that this has got a very long whisker and then the other part you can't really see. Um, I mean, it would be nice if they could stop that there to, like, even it out. But absolutely beautifully, beautifully, beautifully gorgeous. And the funny thing was that I was sealing, like, this side... And that side's not been sealed yet because my sealer's run out. So I've got to get some more. But if you do want sealer, get on Amazon because they do a subscribe and save thing. So they'll automatically order it for you. And you get a little bit of a discount, normally 5 or 10% for doing that. So that's that. Right, we have the next one now, which is... Do you remember this, guys? It's the beautiful cupcake. And absolutely beautiful to do. It was a really funny one because... When I put the drills down for these, I thought they were wrong, but they're actually placed upside down. Um, and then we had the lovely sort of straws here. They really reminded me, of the, you know them chocolate straws that you can get and you put them in milk, you suck up the milk and then you get to eat the straw. I really, really um, it took flashbacks to that. And then we have that lovely donut with the shadowing effect there and that gorgeous, lovely whippy ice um, icing on here. And you said uh, whipping ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then we go down to this beautiful, vibrant cupcake case with that gorgeous bow and that beautiful shadow. But I love the way they've got all these different like hearts going around the edge, which are specials, by the way. So a really, really enjoyable one. One that I really, really wanted to get hold of and to finally get one that is brilliant. And um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So that's that one. And then the next one we got was... 
Remember our lovely tote bag? Well, it's Bob the cow here. And Bob the cow has done a fantastic job. Absolutely loved it. Um, really such a joy to do. My first ever tote bag completed. I feel very proud of that. And um, I love the flowers. They're very vibrant as well. And it's just come out absolutely perfectly. One minor problem that I don't like on this is that round here we've got like these things that drop off like whether it's extra long hair or some chains or something i really don't understand why they put one with just random red um considering all the rest are like brown i just don't get that but um that is how bob looks and as i said i've never done a tote bag before and i tell you what i'm pretty pleased with myself for that um it's come out absolutely stunning so we'll put that to one side and then we have the last but not least I've been saving this one for a special viewer of mine. And can you see what it is? It is also um, was a gift that was sent to me um, through a lady called Tiger Lily Bex, who very kindly said that she had two of them and she sent them on to me. And it's also might um, be for you, Roxanne, but look, it is Jack Skeleton. And doesn't that washi tape go so well with it? What I love about this is the fact that down here you can see it's a different sort of um, border going around. It's like a purple and a blue. But then over this side, they don't actually have that. It's not a black. It's like a royal sort of bluey colour. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I do need to trim that off Um because I do tend to, I was actually, I filmed this once and then I totally forgot to include the pink birds. And so I had to film it all over again. And in that video, I was putting this strip on, um, which is why that's on and that's not. Um, but normally when I'm painting, I cut off one and leave the other one on until I'm finished and then cut that off. But it's just so beautiful. The moon of the, you know, the jewels around the moon are so beautifully done. And the way they've it sort of incorporated it as a, like a cartoon with the smiley face and the eye, it's just absolutely beautiful. So that's the end of my completions. A massive thank you to the wonderful Tiger Lily Bex for sending me this lovely gift. Um, I will be working on that ragtag bear that you got me soon as well. Um, but let us know what your favourite is. Is it Jack Skeleton? So that's already for Halloween. That's the one I've been teasing you about, Roxanne. <laughs> so uh, you'll see the whip and chats for this in October. We've also got this one here. This one here. We have the Bob the Cow, as you can see. I love that. And then we've got the beautiful cupcakes. Um, I think this one came with then gold hooks, didn't it? So we might be able to just put them here. And um, yeah, so we've got that one. We've also got our pink birds and we've also got that little dog that we forgot about. Now, as you can see, I've done a hell of a lot more in the completions for this series um, because July was a complete and utter like, oh man, there was birthdays, loads of engagements I had to do and I just got nothing done. I literally had no time for diamond painting and... Uh, you know, filming them was okay, but trying to get them completed, well, that was like a needle in a haystack. Um, but I've made up for it in August, so as you can see, some lovely, beautiful paintings. And what will lie ahead in September for the completions? Well, we've, well, you'll have to wait and see. I've not actually done any completions yet, because September videos are mainly all pre-recorded um, and they were filmed some time ago so I've got a bit of a relaxed schedule this month which means um, I mean I've still got to finish this off so you might see this on the first uh, uh, that would be the first one but my goal is to get about 13 completions every month I try and get higher and higher in completions <laughs> but anyway thank you very very much for watching that's the august completions there's no premiere tonight because obviously we need to cater for the august completions if you haven't done so already please no uh, tap the notification bell that'll alert you when a video pops up so you guys can grab a cup of tea and watch it um always like share subscribe tap that big red um uh, subscription bell um this isn't making sense is it <laughs> <laughs> subscribe button and uh, we'll see you again very soon for another completions video at the end of september thank you for watching